Yes. yes, and we're yes. still talking about storms How in November. How are we still talking about a hurricane? Because it feels like summer outside. That's why we're still talking in the tropics. Oh, yeah, it does. We were walking today. I was outside with Bella, and it was uh, Bad idea. humid, no. awful. Yeah, I got drenched walking my child children to school. Mm -hmm. Chris, yeah, sure. didn't know that was coming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> <laughs> I said there's always a chance of these little scattered showers. I can't tell you exactly where they're going to be. And, I heard it, oh, and it was amazing. let's see if it's over Katie. <laughs> Katie 50% is... chance of being right, isn't right. that? Oh, here we go. Only, oh only job where you can keep your job if you're only right 50% of the time. You done? Done. <laughs> yeah. You finished? Done. I'm out. Yeah, guess who's not getting any more personalized forecasts for their kids' <laughs> oh soccer games? Uh. All right, Hurricane Raphael looking very healthy down in the southern Gulf. We can kind of laugh about this one because thankfully all modern guidance indicate it is going to be moving further into a more hostile environment. Dry air will start to take over as well as wind shear. We are not worrying about this one, but a very healthy storm with a well-defined eye. Now note, the forecast calls for it to kind of maintain that strength right through tomorrow, maybe even at early on Saturday. As we head towards Sunday early, early morning, that's when we should start to see the center of the storm being pushed southward and really starting to get ripped apart, meaning it will no longer really have the semblance of a tropical system. And some indications are we might see while the storm center moves down to the south, we might be able to tap into some of the moisture drawn northward to increase our rain chances. And there are still a few of the models indicating that as it is weakening, it gets drawn northward. The vast majority, as well as the Euro, which has been the more verified model, indicates it moves south. That's the official forecast from the Hurricane Center as of right now. Because of high pressure kind of dominant on the western side of it, likely to kind of push that storm farther south, really preventing the storm from getting drawn northward. But maybe we tap into some of that moisture. Note the dry air in abundance over the western and central Gulf, as well as that wind shear, which will all help to play a role in weakening the storm. We've also been watching this big upper level low. Now I was talking about this yesterday, pushing a front into the area of for the weekend. There are some indications while the main energy will be lifting away. Notice how we're going to have this westerly flow aloft. That may be enough to actually push the front barely through the area. If it does so, it might help to lower our humidity a little bit to start next week. But what I'm really more excited about is what's going to be developing toward the middle to end of the week. This this deep upper trough should be what brings in a cold front. And what I like to also see is both the GFS that I just showed you and the euro indicating that trough moving on through. Now this isn't going to be a massive drop in temperature, but it does look like it should help to knock our temperatures back into the 70s and maybe mornings in the 40s and 50s. Now notice the euro does kind of start bringing back a little bit of an upper ridge, which might help to start increasing temperatures, but I do think we're going to see a fairly significant drop in our highs and those morning lows as well as a big drop in the humidity, but that'll be the end of next week. Had some scattered showers around the area during the day today, including one right over Katie and her kids. Most of that rainfall moving out now. Still some showers just south of Kentwood and then south of the lake. Really not much. We've had a few little light sprinkles kind of popping up here and there. We stayed under mostly cloudy skies, and that's really what helped us out with our temperatures today. Not the upper 80s and low 90s like we saw yesterday, but still 83 degrees, almost 10 degrees above our normal. And we've been getting way too close to those records, which are only in the mid 80s this time of year. Mostly cloudy skies looking out over downtown warm and humid. Again, that'll be the trend for the next several days going right into the start of the weekend in the 70s and 80s. Dew points also in the 70s, so we could see a little bit of patchy fog to get the morning started tomorrow, as well as maybe a stray shower. Katie umbrella for school tomorrow and a been about a set a 30% chance for Saturday by Sunday though. It looks like with that front and kind of the surge of moisture from Raphael may help us out with some rainfall and we do need the rain as we head into Veterans Day. Still some kind of trailing off showers. We're drier for Tuesday showers on Wednesday, early Thursday with the front and high temperatures back into the 70s by the end of next week.